In episode 8 of the Silver Timeline, we see a quite impressive physical feat demonstrated by Kai125. She is pulling a rope and lifting a warthog with three marines inside off of the ground. Now this is actually quite an interesting feat of strength because we know a lot of the metrics that are involved in this particular lift. And even the variables can be boiled down by using simple applications of physics. The amount of guesswork that is now involved in figuring this out is lower than it's ever been for any feat of strength or power demonstrated by a Spartan at any point in any of the games or any of the books previously. Yes, admittedly this is the Silver Timeline and stands apart, it's kind of its own lore, its own narrative, its own canon, but still after the basic calculations this will be the most accurate demonstration of power of a Spartan in the 21 years since the franchise came into existence. I've done many videos in the past looking specifically at feats of strength and powers demonstrated by the Spartans. I've done videos on the punching force of Spartans. I've done videos on how fast Spartans can move, how fast they can react. But in all of these previous videos, there has been at least some degree of speculation involved because not all of the variables were known. So I'm extremely excited to actually look at this, do the maths, and come to a conclusion. So let's get on with it. Now given the gameplay and the established lore, it isn't at all surprising that a Spartan can lift the weight of a Warthog. We've been flipping these bad boys over since 2001. But you've got to bear in mind that every single time we've done this, the Spartan in question has been wearing Mjolnir Powered Assault Armor, the most powerful powered exoskeleton system ever developed by humanity. But we'll circle back to this for some final numbers towards the end. And yes, of course, Spartans are augmented super soldiers, which makes them immensely powerful anyway, but of course, at least in the mainline lore as detailed specifically in The Fall of Reach, the book released around 2002, the Spartans immediately post-augmentation can lift three times their body weight, and their body weight in question is actually about double that of average. That's still immensely strong, but certainly not in the realms of being able to lift a warthog. Because you see, a warthog weighs three and a half tons, 3,500 kilograms. The heaviest weight ever deadlifted by a strong man to date is just over 500 kilograms. Which means, interestingly enough, if Kai is genuinely lifting this entire weight on her own, she's lifting seven times more weight than the world record strongman deadlift weight. And that's just accounting for the Warhog, that's ignoring the fact that there are also three Marines inside the Warhog, which could be adding another two to three hundred kilograms, but we're actually going to rule those out completely and just go with the weight of the Warhog because one thing we can't necessarily account for is whether this warthog is dry weight or curb weight, and there is a difference. Dry weight is basically fresh off the production line with no fuel, no coolant, no oil, etc, etc, and curb weight is with all of that stuff in situ. These fluids have mass, and they add mass to the vehicle. So to account for not knowing if it's dry weight or wet weight, we're ignoring the marines entirely and just going with the quoted 3.5 tons. And of course, the next big question is, is she actually lifting it entirely on her own, or is she getting some assistance in this lift? And of course, that's where things can get a little bit muddy if you don't fully understand the physics at work. Some would claim that the rope in which Kai is pulling is looping through two pulleys, one on the ground that is bolted to the floor, and another one that is on a gantry arm that's overhanging the warthog itself. So that's two pulleys that the rope is moving through that Kai is then pulling. Now, most people are fully aware that the introduction of pulleys into a system usually reduces the amount of force needed. You see, a weight at rest weighs as much as it does under the force of 1G. So the warthog weighs 350 kilograms because its mass is 350 kilograms under the influence of 1G of gravity. So at rest, 3.5 tons. If you then hung the warthog from the ceiling, nothing else, just the ceiling, to a stationary anchor lock, shall we say, that entire weight is now hanging from one rope from the ceiling, which means that that rope is bearing the weight of three and a half tons, 
which is then being channeled effectively into the ceiling. If you then change that anchor point for a pulley, and the rope then redirects and goes back down towards the floor so someone can pull down on the rope to lift the warthog up, that three and a half ton weight goes up to the pulley where it is redirected downwards to the person holding the other end, thereby meaning that 100% of the mass is transmitted through the rope to the person holding it, three and a half tons. Things can get confusing when a second pulley is implemented, but as I've said before, it entirely depends on where the mass is on that rope, where the load is distributed amongst the pulleys. The easiest way to think about this is how many ropes are actually in play between each point in the pulley system, specifically looking at the number of ropes directly around the load, or in this case the warthog. So if the rope attached to the ceiling came down and went through a pulley, directly connected to the warthog, and then went back up to the ceiling, that means there are now two ropes effectively, leading from the warthog that allow its weight to be evenly distributed between the two ropes. Now, one of the ropes is anchored directly into the ceiling, which means its load is channeled directly into the structure of the building, and the other rope carries the other half of the weight, thereby meaning that in order to lift that warthog off of the floor, you wouldn't need the force of three and a half tons, you'd need 1.75 to account for only half of its weight, thereby giving us a clear understanding of how the force is transmitting through the rope. So that would be the end of the calculation if that were the orientation of the pulleys involved, but that is not what we've got here. What we've got here is that the rope is at one end in Kai's hands, and at the other end isn't linked to an anchor point, but directly to a solid point on the warthog, which means that both of the pulleys that are involved are not halving the amount of force required, in fact all they're doing is redirecting the force, moving it to an angle where she can actually put effort and work into moving the rope. So if the pulleys are only involved in changing the direction of the force, it doesn't change the amount of force that is required to move the mass of the object. So our ultimate conclusion here is that Kai is pulling the weight of three and a half tons through a rope. Now any power lifter and any strong man will tell you that lifts and feats of strength like this, all of the power, comes from the legs. Holding the rope, your abdominals, your back and all that sort of stuff is actually just used to keep your posture in the right angle for the force to be easily transmitted through your frame, but ultimately all of the power of actually moving that force comes from your ability to put traction into the ground and move forward, so it's all on the legs. Which means that Kai is lifting three and a half tons through her legs. She can effectively squat the weight of a warthog, and she's not wearing her powered exoskeleton. This is just her with her augmentations. Now augmentations will obviously amp up her strength and power quite considerably, so we're going to have to implement some degree of a baseline from average human standards in order to get a feel for just how much stronger a Spartan is than an average human, but also in this situation we must take into account that she is a female. Now the reality of the situation is that there is a clear difference in the type and strength of muscle between male and females of our species. This is a biological fact. On average, meaning if you randomly picked a male and a female out of a crowd, on average, the male would be noticeably stronger than the female. So for our baseline average, I will be considering only what females are able to lift, because Kai herself is a female. On top of this, I'm also going to afford some degree of additional training. The reality is she's a soldier. So we'll also add another variable to this, and that is levels of training involved. So we'll both consider the average female with little to no experience of actually lifting weight and an elite weightlifter, and compare both to the feat of strength that Kai has demonstrated here. Now again, I referenced before that Kai can basically squat the weight of a warthog, and the reason I said that is because the muscles that are involved in squatting 
are majoritively the same that would be involved in pulling a weight like this. So we'll also isolate this to a squat maneuver. There's also some degree of involvement of the age of the individual and how that affects their ability to lift weight. But the capacity for lifting weight peaks around age 20 to 25 and doesn't start sloping off until about age 45. And since Kai here is about 41 years old, we're going to assume she's working at peak capacity. And she is a Spartan after all. So with all that said and done, this is the situation. The average female with little to no weightlifting experience can aim to lift around 30 kilograms in a squat. An elite level trained athlete female lifter can look to lift around 136 kilograms in a squat. Kai lifted three and a half tons, 3,500 kilograms. That makes her 25 times more powerful than an elite level female athlete and 116.6 or you could round that up to 117 117 117 times more powerful than the average female and again the law involved in Mjolnir is still pretty much set in stone Mjolnir mark 6 battle armor increases the power of the wearer by a factor of 5 basically meaning with the same amount of effort that she demonstrated here she'd be able to squat 17 and a half tons or about three African elephants. Long story short, Kai is strong as hell and that makes her pretty awesome. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. I just want to give a quick shout out to my patrons and YouTube members, Spartan10148, my Metark, Dylan, FalconX003, Kenwood, Irrefutable Justice, Leon, Neek and Remiz, my monitors. Alvin, Andrew, Brand, Brian, Cameron, Chris, Darian, Devon, Flaming Halo, Greenblood, Kyle, Legions Lost, Michael, Prophet Bear, Spartan and Wolf, my sub-monitors. My fleet of Strato Sentinels. My diligent enforcers. And all the other awesome people that have jumped aboard to support the channel over at Patreon. Another shout out to Todd Morrison, my transcendent YouTube member. And just one quick reminder to support us on all major social media channels, including Discord. Much love from Zero Zero. Take it easy, everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>